All right, so I, wanna, I wanted to go over a problem like this because this is where a lot of students make mistakes, all right, is a lot of students make mistakes because they want to use the one-to-one -one property. So anytime they see more than one logarithm, they want to go, oh, let's just cancel them out. Well, no, that doesn't work. It only works when you have a logarithm equal to another logarithm. So then what students like to do, again, this is wrong, so you don't need to write this, but they add the logarithm to the other side, which is OK, but the logs still don't equal each other. This is log equal to the other log, but then plus 1. So again, you can't just cancel them out because there's that one there. It only works when a log is equal to a log. So um, uh, this wasn't actually the problem I was planning on doing, but that's OK. Um, what was it? It was log? Five. Log of 2x yeah. equals 1? Yep. OK. Actually, I wasn't planning on doing this one there, but that's, but that's OK. So what we can do in this example, though, is, ladies and gentlemen, can I condense this down to one logarithm using my condense, condensing that we did at the beginning of class? Yeah. yeah. So I can do log of 5 divided by 2x equals 1. Do you guys agree with me? Yes? Now, can I rewrite all logarithmic Is equations? That negative because of the no, remember, just the, when you have two logarithms subtracting, you just rewrite them as the quotient, as division. So, can I rewrite now? I only have one logarithm, so can I rewrite this as an exponential equation? Logarithmic to exponential? Yeah, what's the base again? 10, because it's not shown, so it's 10. So it's 10 to the first power equals 5 over 2x. Well, we know 10 to the first power is just 10. Now, we do have to remember, though, uh-oh, we, we have a variable in the denominator. So Shane, what do we do when we have a variable in the denominator? Do you know what you'd want to multiply? How would we get the variable off of the denominator? What would you want to multiply by? The reciprocal, right? Well, and you just want to multiply by the reciprocal of 2x. Basically, all we need to do is multiply by 2x on the right side and on the left side. Because if you multiply that in the numerator, that now cancel that now divides to 1 and now you're just left with 2x times 10x which is 20x equals 5 then can we now solve for x yeah divide by 20 so x equals 1 fourth and so this is exactly what i want you guys to like think about is yeah this is exactly you know